2018 BMW M2. It has a 3 liter 6 in line turbocharged engine producing 370 horsepower. The BMW E46 M3 is considered by many people the best M car ever made. You can agree. You can agree or disagree. I'm a person who agrees. And since the E46 M3, there hasn't been that great of an M car anymore. Of course the E92 was great with a great V8 engine, but it was heavy. The feeling was a little bit gone compared to the E46 M3. Now this is quite a special BMW M2 because I think this is the most expensive M2 in Europe. Maybe in the world, I don't know. At least from the factory. So with every box ticked, all the options you wish for are on the car. Completely M performance spec'd. It's quite a big difference with a regular M2. I already love the regular M2, but this looks so much more badass. And this striping is a one-off. It's a personalized M striping. The M2 has M4 brakes. They're quite big. The brakes of BMW M haven't always been very good. Um, let's see what these brakes can do. The front and rear axle of this car are also from the BMW M3 or M4. They're the same, but the car is just smaller. It's a shorter car. In my opinion, that's why it's a more fun car. Now, once you get in this car, one of the first thing that I notice is the carbon. The carbon fiber trim. I just love it in here. It's I love carbon fiber, as you might know already. Here on the door, dashboard. There are some M things missing in this car. For example, if you want to adjust the throttle response or the suspension or the stability or the steering, you can't do it separately. The only thing you can do is adjust comfort, sport and sport plus. What's also quite weird in the standard M2, you don't have an oil temperature gauge. But because of the M performance wheel, so here you can see when you have to shift. So with some LED lights. And here's a display with all kinds of info. And also the oil temperature gauge. So that alone is a reason enough to go for the M performance steering wheel. And it looks great with the carbon fiber trim over here. Now, I like this cockpit quite a lot, but it's not the best cockpit I've been in. And I'm not comparing this with a 5 series or 7 series, whatever, no. Uh, there are some, some cheapy, plasticky things. Do you hear that? Let's see if this BMW M2 can live up to the E46 M3 legacy. Welcome to Pure Drive. One of the first things you directly notice is that the seating position actually in all BMWs is really good. Seat can go all the way down. Perfect. The wheel can go high, the steering wheel. This is how you're supposed to sit in a sports car. Let's go. Now this is not the manual that I would prefer, obviously. But I do have to say, it's a very good automatic gearbox. And especially in comfort mode, it shifts up so easily, so fast, because this engine is also very torquey. It delivers a lot of torque already from about 1500 RPM because of the twin scroll turbo. It shifts up so fast. And before you know it, you're in seventh or Eighth? No, seventh. Okay. Before you know you're in seventh gear, I'm right now driving 80 kilometers per hour in seventh gear, 14, 1500 RPM. Very relaxed like this. So it's not only a car that you can play with and you can throw and smash around with, but it's actually also quite a good cruiser. Of course you cannot compare this thing with an M5 or or a bigger car uh, or even a normal 5 series uh, when we talk about comfort. But if we're looking at sports cars, V8 
this is a really comfortable one okay enough automatic blah blah let's put this thing in sport we're not going to sport plus yet because sport plus we leave that for another moment but for now we leave it in sport and when you shift you also feel a little hit in your back that's really nice in comfort mode if I go back to comfort you don't feel anything between the gears nothing I'm in fourth gear I'm shifting up to five didn't feel a thing go back to sport I go back to fourth gear it auto blips very nice really fast I go from four to five and I feel a little little kick in my back it's quite nice and it makes you feel more involved with the car okay let's shift back high rpm and hit it <laughs> this thing pulls from low rpm 3000 rpm let's hit it you do feel the turbo kick in and it keeps on going all the way the power delivery is very linear which is really nice that makes the car quite predictable so nice I know it's a little bit amplified through the speakers but if nobody would have told me that the sound is a little bit fake I would not have known what a great car I make these pure drive videos all by myself so I'm driving alone I'm filming alone I do everything by myself but today I'll make an exception Amrit welcome thank you car vlogger what's up my, guys my buddy so this is your car yes yes what's the story behind it why this car so before this car I had an M3 E92 and I was sucked in BMW M as a, as a performance car, you know, as a daily performance car. And then I was, yeah, my, I was doing YouTube and stuff and I was growing and I wanted to have a special car to do my events with and do reviews with. So I was searching between actually this car, the M2, yeah. the RS3 and the A45. Okay. So like the competition. Yeah. But none of those cars have rear wheel drive. I drove all three cars and I drove an M2 for the for the first time and I was instantly sold uh, because it really has that BMW M character. People say they compare it to the old school BMW M cars. Not too much weight, not too much size, but the perfect balance in power, in measures. Exactly, it's, it's not too big. And these days, cars tend to be quite large. And, and this is just a really nice compact car, like the, the previous M models, just like you said. Yeah. And I think that's what makes this car such a success. Yeah, so I was instantly sold on all three cars. And then with my partner, BMW Amsterdam, I found and teamed up with them. And we were like, okay, let's, let's build something special because there are a lot of M2s on the road. Let's try to stand out. So we spec'd it full with all the options. Yeah. And I photoshopped like for one night, like six hours on the striping of the car. <laughs> you love it or you hate it. I like it personally. I like it too. It yeah, stands definitely. out. And um, yeah, that's that's how she is right now. But So if people want to see more about this car, because, uh, because there are a lot of videos about this car. For example, you collected it. Yeah, yeah the collection video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah. Inside series. Okay, now, cool. yeah. I do some YouTube videos. 
this guy is a real YouTuber. So, uh, so, so I'll link his channel below and, and also the videos um, of this car. You directly see, at least I directly see the difference between a regular M2 and this M2 from a mile. Yeah. This just looks so, so badass with all those carbon fiber bits. It's great. Yeah. Uh, just like I said, usually I make those videos alone, the Pure Drive videos. But today I made an exception and why is that? Because first of all, this is my buddy. Second of all, this is his car. And third of all, we already made a bunch of videos together as oh, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool car content. So of course we will link those also below. Yeah. So after this video, definitely go check them out. I think I'll steal this thing tonight. <laughs> So, we just skipped the Sport Plus mode because that's meant a little bit more for the racetrack. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Because this car feels at home at the racetrack. It should be at the racetrack. Now this car has the M Performance exhaust. With a button, you can see here, and you can open or close the valve so it's louder. With higher RPM, it sounds way better. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's directly go to Sport Plus. Traction control off, because who needs that anyway? I just had one corner and I'm having I'm having so much fun already. The balance in this thing it's so lovely. This car wants to play, it just wants to play with you. It's very grippy. But the car is also quite short. Especially compared to an M3 or an M4, M5 especially. But that, that makes the car feel so alive. It makes it so much fun. It makes you work. You would expect such a short car be a bit unpredictable. It isn't. It lets you know when the back end wants to step out. I'm not really 
really used to having good brakes with M cars, but this car has really good brakes. Now, about the E46 M3 story, it's been quite a while that BMW has made such a fun, such a good, such a, I could say legendary car as the E46 M3. And to me, this car, is the new E46 M3. Okay, I've had a blast today shooting a video with this car, one of my favorite cars, BMW M2. This is the car yeah, mate. of my good friend, car vlogger. So go check him out, link in the description below. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. All for the pure drive. Exactly, but I would go for the manual. You always <laughs> get the manual. No, so? It's quite hard to record a pure drive video with this guy. He's just too happy. He's too happy in life. This is his his, <laughs> his effective transition. <laughs>